Hi, this is your assignment explanation for uh, the speech, the poem, and you. So, for this assignment, there are two parts. On the first part, you're going to be making connections between the texts we read this week. So, you took the quizzes to, for comprehension, but I want you to dig deeper. So, you're going to read an excerpt by Yusafzai, and then you're going to read an, an excerpt by Darker. And then you're going to answer the question in the right hand side and connect those excerpts and with the question that's being asked. Then part two, be prepared to re do a little extra reading because we're, going, we're extend, expand, extending beyond what we read um, this week with Malala's poem and with or with Malala's speech and with Imatea's this darker's poem. So you're gonna read a quoted passage and notice the source that it came from. Then answer the questions in the box to the right of that. So this is a very large table. Do not be intimidated. It's just that we have the excerpt um, included on the left side, which is what makes this seem much longer. So for this first one, you're going to read a passage from The Purpose of Education by uh, Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. It was written in 1947 while he was a student at Morehouse College, and it was published in the campus newsletter. So you'll read this excerpt, and then you're going to answer this question. King has strong opinions about education. What about you? What do you think is the purpose of education? In what ways do you agree or disagree with King's thoughts? Be sure to refer to his ideas to support or, or to provide contrast to his thinking. Then to the second part, the following information comes from an article on the website of a school called Allison Academy. The article is well written and the ideas are well supported with research citations. The article's hyperlinks are left here. The direct link to the article is here. So you're going to read the 10 consequences of not having access to education. And then you're going to answer the question, read through the list of 10 consequences of not having access to education. Pick the two that you think are most concerning, most important for people to know about. Explain why you chose the two that you did. So you're going to type your answers and you're going to write about choice one and choice two. And that is the assignment. If you have any further questions, please do not hesitate to reach out. I'm more than happy to help. Thank you so much and I look forward to reading your submission. Thank you.